And the state of education changing by the hour, especially for students in the West Valley. Tonight, the Peoria Unified School District adding yet another school to its list of closures for tomorrow as teachers there stage a sick out, citing concerns over rising coronavirus cases. Raymond S. Kellis High School, the latest to close for both in person and virtual learning. So far, 13 schools, including all of the district's traditional high schools, will be shut down. We've listed them here on your screen. Child care and nutrition services will be available, and you can find more details on the district's website. And after days of speculation in the Dysart Unified School District, we've learned that as of now, schools there will remain open tomorrow despite a wave of teacher callouts fueled by concerns over in person learning. Tonight, Adam Walt shows us how this district, like so many others across our state, is dealing with the growing divide. So far, there are about 150 teaching vacancies for the Dysart district for Monday. And while all COVID-19 metrics say go home and learn virtually, the district is trying to keep classrooms open. I'm so glad to see our students and staff back from winter break. Dysart Superintendent Quinn Kellis in his weekly Facebook message that isn't going over too well with teachers. It was kind of shocking about how like out of touch it was because um, for most teachers, that's not what our classrooms look like. We don't have our desks spread that far apart. After days of voicing their concerns on social media and sidewalks, teachers and staff in the Dysart Unified School District started calling out sick for Monday, hoping to shut down in-person learning. It's scary to be in classrooms. Like we don't have the ability to socially distance. Some teachers on my campus I know have 35, 40 students. Joanna Pearson teaches at Dysart High School where there are currently eight active cases. Pearson, who lost her own father to COVID, says the sick out was a last resort move. We did email campaigns, social media campaigns. Um, we had a petition with nearly 1,200 signatures on it, and it was ignored. But experts from the CDC and Maricopa County Health Department still believe the schools are the safest place for students. The county did recently update its stance on supporting schools that choose to provide in-person learning so long as they're able to maintain a safe learning environment. Still, the county school dashboard showing substantial spread of COVID-19 and the official recommendation remains virtual learning with on-site supports. This isn't us being selfish. This is us trying to do what's best for our students. Dysart Unified School District telling ABC 15 at this time, our schools will remain open as we have plans in place to cover staffing shortages that may occur and are confident that campuses can remain open in a safe manner. The district's governing board is meeting on Wednesday. Some teachers hoping that some board members will at least consider the metrics. In Phoenix, Adam Waltz, ABC 15, Arizona.